What I remember being the first thing was I went down to go pick up a golf ball. I felt like everything was moving and, and I was moving. And as I progressively got worse, the nausea got worse, the dizziness, then being uncomfortable, not being able to move, I couldn't work. Finally went and had a brain MRI. Found out that I had a mass um, near my spine and in my cerebellum. I found out on a Wednesday. Dr. Prabhu saw me on Friday. I was just happy to hear that it was benign and um, he told me that I didn't need to worry about it, that he was going to take care of it and everything was going to be fine. And I believed him. Uh, Mrs. DeGuerre was a wonderful patient to take care of. She was elegant, she was trusting. I have taken care of patients who've had this tumor before, but this was certainly a much more challenging situation in that the tumor involved both the cerebellum and the spinal cord. It's not common to see that, and I knew that we had to come up with a very careful strategy to protect her cerebellum and her spinal cord without inflicting any injury. I staged the surgery because the tumor had slipped into two compartments and it was compressing a significant portion of the brain and the spinal cord. And by staging it, it made it easier for us to do this without damaging or hurting any of the critical brain structures. I woke up and I was walking and talking and moving and that was on Monday and on Thursday was my 50th birthday and I went home that day. And it was wonderful, it was a gift to my family and it was a gift to me. I really have a tremendous respect for the people that I take care of. I also remind myself what a privilege it is for me to just be able to take care of them and to be a part of a team that can administer this care and, and help them. Dr. Prabhu will never, he'll never admit to how wonderful he is. And, and he is, he is, he's just great. And so is Loyola.